Welcome to Smart Remarks, where I think I'm going to use my Mitt Romney tax cut to buy an actual teleprompter. So Mitt Romney was in town last night speaking to the Republican faithful at the Lancaster County Convention Center, and I missed it. Can you believe it? And I'm so bummed because I know Mitt would have psyched me up with his talk about how we got to cut government spending, except for military spending, and how the path to prosperity is paved with tax cuts, and I, 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 I didn't miss anything. And Newt Gingrich was in town, too, for the record. I'm happy to report he was not bitten by another penguin, although we all know it's just a matter of time. But back to Romney, his message was primarily economic. He talked about how the economy remains in the dumper, which is true. He talked about how median income is down, foreclosures are up, and home values have fallen. And you know how Mitt Romney is going to fix this problem? Mitt Romney is going to cut taxes on rich people. Now, to be fair, Romney wants to cut everybody's taxes. Uh, he would, uh, for example, give the middle class a 5% tax cut. And he's also proposed closing some loop loopholes that benefit primarily the wealthy. But at the same time, he would give the most affluent taxpayers a 7% tax cut. He would completely eliminate the estate tax, meaning that economic royalists like the Koch brothers would be able to pass down their wealth intact. And he would reduce the corporate tax rate. So under a Romney plan, you might have a few extra shekels in your pockets, but the people with the deepest pockets would have a lot more. And this is completely in keeping with Republican economic orthodoxy, which holds that rich people are the job creators, so we have to give them more money so they'll create more jobs, right? Right? But is that really how it works? Uh, if you own a company like perhaps the one I work for, you're probably psyched about the prospect of a tax hike. Come to papa! But are you going to use that money to hire extra staff? Or will you hire extra staff only if demand for your product or service is increased? Here's my question for Mitt Romney and other tax cutters like him. How do tax cuts aimed primarily at the wealthy boost demand across the board? Now, sure, if everybody gets a tax break, everyone might have a couple extra bucks to spend. But given the rate of inflation, a lot of that money just goes up in smoke. And at best, people are able to maintain current spending levels, not increase it. And if President, Ro President Romney were to hew to economic, GOP economic orthodoxy elsewhere, he'd cut social spending and that would depress spending. Say what you like about extended unemployment benefits or food stamps, but the reality is they free up income to be spent. Cut those programs, you're going to be cutting spending. That's not how you boost demand. That's how you destroy demand. Romney's proposals aren't quite as Darwinian as some of the stuff we've seen out of the GOP, but they remain rooted in this idea that all we got to do is cut the taxes of the wealthiest taxpayers and prosperity will follow. It's the same old thing. It's trickle-down economics. You know, it's the dictionary definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Maybe that's the definition of conservatism, too.